Hi guys, so I'm going to run through this real quick and show you how to do the um, print thin cut nameplate with a character in Pixlr. Diamond has one that she's done in Fonto, I think it is, over in the Real Bamboo Hustlers. So if you're using the Fonto app on your phone, you can head over there and you're over there, you can head over there and pick that up. But I don't think I have one in here and I'm basically um, PC. I use I use my laptop for everything. I do not do those apps, so I can't help you in that aspect. But I can help you if you're computer based. So before you use Pixlr, if you want to use your um, your own fonts, because it comes with its fonts, if you want to use your own, you'll have to come into your um, font folder and get the fonts you want to work with in Pixlr. So to do so, if you're um, um, Windows PC user user if you're a Windows PC user you can click this folder here and once it opens it will let me close this so you can see once it opens so I gotta I, I should not have closed it hold on one second let me open let's go with download desktop so if you pull it there and the desktop is there, click desktop so it can open the desktop. And once that opens, you'll want to come down to your Windows um, partition. So you click the um, Windows partition and once that opens, you'll have all these folders. You'll click Windows. Once that opens, you'll come down to your fonts folder. Click fonts. And it'll open all of your fonts. I already did it and that it's opening fast now because I have already had this one open. I have so many, it would take too long to open. So I have it open already. So let's say you found the font that you want with, to work with. You just basically click the font that you would like, and you just drag it and drop it onto your desktop. I already had that there on my desktop. So skip this file because I was going to do this earlier so I already have it there so you drag it and drop it onto your desktop and once you have that then you'll come on over into Pixlr once you get to Pixlr click the first tab then click create new and you can name it here if you want to if you don't just click create and once in here let me go grab the file I wanted to work click edit I mean file then open image and once it gets on your um, this part here you just scroll down to the image you want I'm gonna work with Tweety Bird for this tutorial and once you open it it will be locked so you can just double click to unlock it and once you open it it will have this large bounding box around it I hate it I hate it I hate it so you'll see me cut you don't have to if you don't want to but I will cut it And then I will delete this one. So now it is like this. So then I click the text box and then I add text. And then I'm just gonna put Tweety. Oh, once you once you um have your font on your desktop, then you would click up here and hit add local and then go to your desktop and click that font that you want to use click it for here and then it will import it and then we'll have it at the top up here but I like to use spirit so it's already in here so once you click the text box and then start typing your text you while it's still selected you'll come up here and you can size it so I'm gonna size it to about here and I'm also gonna change it to if you want to change it to if you're working on a specific project and you want to work with specific colors, you can click there to add that color. Or you can click and add a gradient. And you can, let's say, you chose this rainbow here first. Let's move this box over. And you didn't like th those colors. You could click here on the tab and then click the box and change it to any color you want to change it to. So let's just say if you didn't want this, you could delete it, delete it, delete it, delete it. 
let's just say I was going to work with these two colors and that's how I was going to color it or if I didn't want that then I'll click on the gradient um, a box and then I would have to I didn't rasterize it so it's still a text so you would have to rasterize it before you could do that so you click back on your text box and click here layer rasterize so now that is the layer click in the gradient box click here for gradient and then it will pop up up here and then if you want to choose your colors you can still choose your colors there click OK and with it being a gradient you will have to click here and then you can drag it's got to be click. It's got to be these. Got to be selected. Select pixels. Now you can drag this and do it however you want. So I'm gonna. Let's see. I think I'll do it like this for now. And then Control D deselect. So I think I'm not gonna use all of um, Tweety. So I think what I will do is just go ahead and cut him in half or cut most of him. I don't want to use all of them. Control D. So you select, do, click the selection box, drag it over what you don't want. If you want to use all the Tweety, that's fine. That's, that's up to you. You can slide him where you want him. And you could do it separately or you could do it together. So I'm first I'm gonna um show you I'm gonna do it together that because it makes it quicker. So if you want Tweety to go there, then you'll select uh we could just go to layer and hit merge visible. That make and then hit over here to unlock it. That makes this one complete file. So then we can go up here to the layer and hit duplicate. So it makes two. So you turn the um, turn this one off, the front one off, and then let's hit fill this one. We're gonna fill it with a black. Apply that. Oh, well, I, I was on the wrong one. Make sure you're on the right one. Click on the back one and then hit edit fill, and then you're gonna fill that with black. Apply. Now you can turn the front one on and make sure you're still on the back one and then hit edit and then stroke. And let's add a black stroke as well. And then you can make it whatever size you like. Whatever size you like. Hit apply. So now, when you um, finish that, then you just save this. Save it as a PNG file. If you miss some spots there, you can take your brush and go over it. If you want to color those spots in, you could do that. Because otherwise, your, uh, when you put it in Cricut to cut, it will cut those little, t try to cut those little tiny pieces. So, this is pretty much all that you do for, for this, your character. You put this where you want it, and then you have, do your stroke, and then separate it like this, and then you hit File, File, Save, and you'll save as a PNG, and you hit Download and save. I'm going to pull it in the Cricut so I'm going to pause. Okay so when you open it up in Cricut you want to make sure you hit complex even though it's saved together make sure one needs to be a cut file and one needs to pre be printed. Cut. Hit complex continue 
and we want to make sure we put this as a save this on this next screen as um, print and cut image let's let that load up so make sure it's print and cut and then upload click it insert it oh okay select the shape come in put that over it and slice get rid of that and get rid of that now on this next step all you are concerned with is the width of this so for an adult I say four four inch if it's two words it's gonna this is gonna go smaller but still maybe four inches or or bigger or smaller it just depends on preference this is all preference so let's say we're gonna do a four inch leave that on print to cut then you want to hit this and you want to come at the top and make sure it is basic a basic cut that is all and then you use this this piece to do your layering and if you want to put layers behind this then you would duplicate that layer and you would make it a basic cut so you could have multiple layers and let's say for this one you were going to put a gold I'll make it gold so you need to duplicate duplicate it and make this one let's say you were going to use black cardstock then you will duplicate that maybe four or five I mean four to six times and this you might duplicate it twice now with this you could add a bell or if you want to add um the loops then you would just add take your circle shape circle make it smaller to go in here to fit with that duplicate it make that piece smaller I'm going kind of fast because my video is going to cut off in a second. So you will make that a little smaller. And then slice that. I don't want to slice that. That's in the way. Slice. So you would fit two loops here so you duplicate that and put one on the other side as well straight across and then you would weld these two I don't know why that, I think something was behind there but you would weld these two and then you would make your duplicates out of this piece you would weld that just you, you would have that for this and you could do them um, the same with the um you could turn these off if you're going to use a bell you would use these if you're going to um, make your own bells or loops then you would use this i don't know why this one closed i think something was behind it let me pause Why did it do that? I don't know why it did that. I won't figure it out now. But the, either way it goes, you would weld these together. And you would duplicate this instead of using this plain one if you wanted to use these. If you're going to use a bell, it's okay to use these layers here. Okay. 
Okay, so let me see if I can figure this part out. I had to start another video. The other one went out. I don't know why it's why it is um welding as such. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe it was the color. I don't know. So anyway, let's just say this is going to be your sh your background or your shadow piece. You'll want to make sure you um, have one for the back as well. So duplicate that and then you'll take this one and flip it horizontal. Same thing with this if you're going to just use this and do the bells. Duplicate and horizontal flip it. So so if you don't want to layer this piece, then you won't need these. These will be your layers for the that go that is in the middle of these. You could do black. Uh, you could do white if you wanted to. So let's say you're going to use this one and you want to do, let's say you're going to do four. The more you use, the sturdier it is. So these would go behind here. So I'm just going to leave it, just show you, leave it looking like a shadow just to show you that these would go all go behind here. After you get it cut. So you would cut these out of your black cardstock or your white card, plain black cardstock or your plain white cardstock, no less than 110 pounds. If you go less than that, you will have to do more, more layers. So 110 pounds, and I like to use four to six um, layers between for my name necklace name place. So you would put that behind there, and then once you cut this out, you will flip it and put it on the back of there, and then this would go. move forward bring to the front this would go right over that if you're going to use gold you don't have to use gold you can use whatever you want to use so then you would glue that right to there if you didn't want to use the, these layers behind here if you did want to use the layers then you know you would glue that it just makes it a, gives it more depth it just more it's just another layer that's all like a stair step so you glue all those back there and then glue that to the top of there if you don't want to use these then you just use these you glue that to there actually if you use these let's step back if you're just going to use this with no if you're going to add a bill then you will use this together so these will this will glue to here and then that will glue to there and if you wanted to layer this, then you would layer all those behind it and then glue it to there. And then this would flip and glue to that once you had everything cut. If you wanted to do it, go this method, then you will need to duplicate that and then do your layers with this piece. So you would turn this black and then you would have your four or five, six layers, how many of you want then you would glue that. Let's bring that to the front. Then you would glue that. So all of those would line up behind this perfectly. Then you would glue that to them. And then this would go on that. In front of that. And then you would flip that once it's cut and stick it to the back of there. So there's two methods. Either way, you could add your own loops or you could use a bell a necklace bell to do the um character name plates 
But that is all to the character nameplates, guys. Find your character, stick it to your um, text, then do your outline work. And then make your layer pieces. That's it. I hope this helps.